Today we're gonna take a look at the Natural Language Framework. Apple introduced this cross-platform framework this June at the Developer Conference. Note that I'll be using Xcode 10 beta, so things may change until the official release. Alright, let's start with the playground. I'm gonna call it NLP Demo. First, I get rid of the boilerplate code. Next, we need to import the natural language framework. Again, I'm using Xcode 10 beta, so you'll get a compiler error whenever you try to import this framework on a prior version of Xcode. Now, if I try to use any class from the natural language framework, Xcode gives me a warning. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna instantiate an NL tagger instance. I need to initialize the tagger with an array of tag schemes. The tagger tokenizes the input string and classifies the tags according to the provided schemes. Now let's try to execute this playground. Yeah, indeed, so here we get an error. We need to make sure that we're on iOS 12. So I need to add this condition. If available, iOS 12. And now it should work. All right. So we have our tagger. I used the lexical class tag scheme, which classifies the tags according to lexical classes. That is, it finds out whether a word is a noun, an adjective, a pronoun, and so on. Next, I create a string with one of my favorite quotes. And assign it to the tagger string property. Next, I'm gonna use the tagger to enumerate over the entire range of the string. We'll start with the text start index up to its end index. The token unit should be a word and the scheme is again a lexical class. We aren't interested in punctuation and white spaces so I set the options to omit punctuation and omit white space. And omit white space. In the closure we get the tag and the range as we iterate through the tags. We'll need the string to collect the results. Let's call it result equals an empty string. And here first we check whether we have a valid tag. Then we build a string using the detected tokens and their lexical class. And we add the word found at that range and the lexical class. And finally, let's return true. And here we simply print the result to the console. All right, now let's run the demo. I'm gonna slightly adjust the text so that you can see better the output by adding some parentheses. Let's see now. We can see the original text was tokenized and then each and every word has received its lexical class. Silence is a noun, is verb, determiner, source noun again, of, preposition, adjective. Cool, is it? The new natural language framework has many other awesome features. I plan to talk about them in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.